Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, add a chromatic aberration effect uh, on your drawings with uh, Clip Studio Paint. And what chromatic aberration is, is it's a, uh, it's a thing that happens sometimes in photographs where different color wavelengths uh, of an image don't exactly line up perfectly and it creates a weird halo effect. Um, this is an extreme example, this is from Wikipedia, where as you can see he's got like, you know, halo of purple and green and that's that's what it looks like basically in an extreme example and uh yeah so we're gonna get down to it I guess okay so what we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have your image all compressed onto one layer so everything you wanna add this effect to is just it's all in one layer um and so I guess if you just want to do it to the whole drawing just save it as a PNG or something and then open it back up. And what you want to do is you want to duplicate it like uh, a couple of times um, and on one of the layers you're gonna wanna go to edit right up here and then tonal correction and you want to do level correction and for one of them you're gonna wanna turn off the red channel and you do that by going up here and clicking on red and you want to take this white arrow and drag it all the way to the black end. So now the red channel on that part is turned off. Then we're going to work on this one. And this one we're going to want to turn off. We're going to do the same thing. Do level correction. And we're going to want to turn off the green and the blue channels. And that is the same thing. We go to green, drag the, uh, the white arrow all, all the way to the black end. Same thing with blue. And so now those channels are turned off. And now uh, I'm gonna make another layer and make that black. Eh. Do okay. And then we're gonna take the two layers that we have, and we're gonna want to put them on screen. Do, do, do. All right. And then we're want to take our move tool, and we're gonna want to. Hang on, I'm gonna zoom in for this, so we can see. We just want to do it a little bit. We don't want it too extreme, we're just going to like move it to the side and up a little bit. And it gives you like that weird photographic effect, like it's lining up. Not quite right, but I don't know. It looks cool sometimes <laughs> for some things. Let's put that in a, in a folder so we can see what it looks like with and without. Okay, so that's with, that's without. Kind of gives it a weird sort of ethereal effect, I think. But yeah. That's how you do it. It's pretty simple. And then you just, you know, save it. And you're done. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. And I hope this helps you. The wrong thing. <laughs> do cool things with your art. Okay. Bye.